Mike, start us off, please. Zach, in the, in the first half, you seem a little bit more animated, emotional <coughs> than, you, than you normally are. Just kind of, I think I know what spurred that, but just kind of in your words, kind of how did that maybe get you going and yeah. carry you guys to, to halftime? Yeah, kind of, obviously it's an early game. You got to get yourself going somehow. <laughs> um, so you got to kind of get into it. But they, they play super physical. They kind of foul every time. And uh, that kind of gets me going. Um, I like playing physical. I like I like those types of games. Um, and it kind of showed, like, it, it kind of got me going when they started fouling me. They started hacking me and started doing things. And they busted my lip in the second half. Um, and those things kind of got me going a little bit. Hey, Zach. Sure, I saw your mom giving it to you. Backstory on the shirt, um, she was excited to give that to you. Yeah, um, she just made it. You know, you can see the back of it or something like that. So, but, um, you know, she comes down, she makes sure it's, um, her, her friends kind of, are, they, they have fun with it. They make little printouts. They had they had these type of shirts last year. They, they had that on the back this year. Um, but it's just, it's just fun. She handed me after the game and I just had to wear it. <laughs> Zach, all the way back here. You had a career high tonight against Michigan State. Same thing back at their place uh, in January. And even last year in the meeting, a career high 25. Why are you so successful against Tons? Um, I mean, I think, like I said, they always play super physical. It always gets me going into the game a little bit. Uh, they stay one-on-one, -on -one, so um, it's my job to score the ball. You know, sometimes in certain matchups, uh, my job is to kind of facilitate and, and uh, make play out rotations for the team. But against Michigan State, their, their whole thing is just playing one-on-one. -on -one, so. Uh, that's something I found success in. Uh, for Fletcher, Zach, how big is it to see David get going? Uh, this is about third or fourth game where he's knocked down a couple shots early. Um, and as the season's gone on, it's gotten better and better. It's it's huge for us. It's a whole other option offensively, another weapon that we have. And um, we knew it was going to come. We knew with the work he puts in and uh, the confidence he has and uh, just the maturity he has. Uh, Obviously, it's probably not easy having a freshman point guard come in to start, but he hasn't been playing one time. He's uh, battled. He's uh, been a great leader for us, and uh, we knew the time was going to come. He come in and knock him down some shots. Yeah, for sure. It's kind of what he said. He's he's done this his whole career. Um, he's like he's he's old. Like he's he's done this. He's been doing this. He's been doing this since I've been in high school. So like it's, it's nothing new for us. We kind of expected this. Uh, uh, for Zach, obviously you, you get the 37, but they started coming with hard doubles on you there. Um, in the middle of the second half, whatever it was, the game was still, you know, kind of up in the air a little bit. You hit Ethan for the for the layup, hit David for the three, and did you kind of have an inkling they were coming? And can you just kind of walk through that stretch there where uh, you were able to beat their double team? Yeah, I was surprised they didn't come earlier. Honestly, um, I was kind of expecting it every time they caught the ball. Um, like did they. Usually when someone has success, they change stuff up. But Izzo, uh, he's very steadfast in his ways. He wants to play one-on-one. -on -one. He wants to uh, kind of make you beat him with twos and not threes. Um, so that's something that I guess that they, they really had to focus on. They really tried to focus on. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wasn't, I was kind of expecting a double uh, at some point. David, the last couple games, your shooting has really seemed to improve and you kind of found your level a little bit. Explain that transition from the early part of the season to right now, what might have changed more? You'd feel a little bit more comfortable in your role after playing, you know, a different role in your previous stops and then coming here to the room coming off the bench. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a different role for me. Um, previous teams, I was the scorer, you know, shooter, whatever that may be. Is, um, so I had to kind of fit into a role here. Obviously, it's been a little while. I've been trying to fit into the role, but um, I mean, really, just credit to all the guys, you know, for staying confident in me and finding me on shots. Zach obviously attracts a lot of t attention. Down low, he's always really selfless. He looks for us all on the perimeter for me to flesh to all the shooters. Um, but man, like at the end of the day, I'm gonna do whatever role is, is given for me. You know what I mean? I just want to win at the end of the day. We're the number one team in the country, and um, because of how unselfish we are as a team, um, we had a lot of people doubting us in the beginning because you know we may not be the most talented team or whatever. But we're together. We're we're close off the court and on the court, and I think it really translates to how we're winning. Uh, Fletch and, and David. Uh, I know you're going to say that it's just about getting in the gym and getting shots up, but during this eight-game winning streak, shooting almost 40% as a team from three, it was about 30% up until that point. Uh, how beneficial is that for this team to go out and do what it does? You know, when you shoot like that, you're going to have games like this, but it's got to be more than just getting more shots up. What's been the key to, to this stretch of hot shooting outside? 
I think it's just getting a little more comfortable. Uh, everyone's getting minutes in, and everyone's getting different looks. And um, when uh, when Zach gets doubled, we're all going to be ready to shoot, and we know that, and we're comfortable with that now. And uh, I'd say really just, like you said, practice. We're in there every day getting shots up, but also we're, we play through each other, and uh, I think just putting the confidence in one another has helped. Uh, David, you, you talk about you know coming over here, being okay with being on the number one team in the country, but do you feel like you're getting more comfortable in that role that you're in now? Yeah, 100%. Um, I think each game I've kind of earned myself a little more playing time on the court. And obviously I think it started defensively, really, because um, I wasn't hitting shots you know, before before these last couple games or whatever. But Payne's trusting me to go out there and kind of guard you know, one of the best guards or whatever that case may be. is, And that wasn't what I was known for in the previous years, but that's kind of something I felt like uh, was my role on this team, and you know, uh, it's kind of led to me hitting a couple of shots and things like that. So yeah, I'm definitely like kind of forming and getting comfortable in this role. DJ in the back. Yeah, David. Um, you mentioned it a little bit, and Braden, Braden alluded to it yesterday. Just uh, how close you are with some of these guys on and off the floor. Um, you're, you're one of the first guys to you know congratulate guys like Fletcher and Braden when they have big games. But what does it mean for you to kind of? have the patience kind of pay off and really start to put things together at this point in the season. Yeah, I mean, it means everything to me. And like you said, like, I want to see these guys succeed because I was a freshman at once, too, and I know how it is. And that was like, you know, how, 10 years ago. But <laughs> Zach thinks it's funny. But, um, <laughs> nah, you know, I, I remember, like, maybe like the last week, I sent Braden, like, a long text, just, con just how proud I am of him because it's, it's hard for them to come in like that from high school and adjust to this level, especially at the Big Ten. Like, it's a big physical league with a lot of good players. And, I mean, credit to them coming in and being successful at that. So, um, but you know, like, I love to see them succeed, and, and I, obviously, like I'm happy that I've been able to help a little bit and help us win as well. You talked about your team chemistry that you guys had this year. You guys were so together. What has factored in that has made you guys just click so well together? I, I think personally, just how close we are off the court. Like I mentioned before, like people don't think that's a big thing, but it matters. Like with certain teams, like you have clicks, you know, with groups of people who hang out. But with us, it's everybody. And, I think it just really matters when it goes on the court because we each want to see um, each player succeed, you know, so I think that means a lot. Anyone else? Sam, last one, please. Fletcher and David, obviously hardly anybody's played with a seven foot four guy, but um, just kind of watching him evolve from when you got here to what he is now, and obviously a phenomenon, getting all this national attention. How fun has that been to watch a teammate kind of excel and just keep you know, raising his game, I guess. It's it's real special. It's something you gotta not take for granted because uh, you're not you're not gonna have someone like that every single year. And um, when you got someone down there that's that dominant and that unselfish too, it's 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 great to play with. And it's uh, I feel bad for the other teams because it, it's hard to stop them. But uh, also just this summer watching him play, I'm like, this guy's the best player in the country. And uh, just us playing around him, us playing through him, and him still being unselfish is very uh, very cool to watch. Um, I mean, just to piggyback on what he said, I mean, it's funny, I was kind of joking with Zach before the mission game. I'm like, you know, you better go against Hunter. Like, what you going to do? And he destroyed him. You know what I mean? So it's just like, and then after the game, I'm like, dang, you are real. You know? So, <laughs> so I mean, it's just, I mean, it's amazing to see, man. He's kind of one of a kind. I've never played with someone like this. I never will. You know, so credit to him and all the work he's put in. Anything else? Cool. Thank you, guys.